I'm doing the brakes on my Honda Civic and I just want to show you this part that I got from Fry Harbor that is to compress the calipers piston it's right there you actually put a the old pad in here facing the piston whichever way you decide to put I mean it doesn't matter I just decide to put where the ceramic is on this on this side so it doesn't I don't know like it doesn't the screw doesn't go into it if I put it on this side so what you have to do is this is the way it looks and I pay like what five dollars for it a fried hardboard tools that's the way it looks you actually spin it over here doing it with one hand so it's and it's actually not hard at all so you go like that slowly slowly till you actually compress the hole so you can see it right there and before you even do this you gotta open the reserve your box it's actually on top of it just sitting on it but I actually took it off so you keep your spin slowly it's a pretty pretty nice tool you don't have to play with other stuff and it's actually like made for this you know I used to be in the past like some cheap clamps but which they actually work but this is just a great tool for the price also you know All right, I think this is pretty much in there yep so, yeah. so this is what it looks like it and this is also a gun that I got from them a torque wrench a torque gun or whatever it is called it works pretty good I have I had it for like uh, two years and I use it a lot you know I work in my car myself so yeah, it's actually pretty good and another tip right here as you can see I already took the screws that usually are a pain in the neck to get out but I before I put them in the last time I did my rotors I actually put some anti-lag grease in there and when I went to take them out they came out pretty pretty easy and I was actually using one of these tools that is like for a ski or snowboarding stuff that you carry in your pocket and I use the wider tip and it actually fits like perfect in there and I have also used it with the torque wrench impact wrench which is this one over here when I last time when I did my rotors because it was like the stack ones it was really really hard to get it so this is what I used last time make sure you use the right thing you know and I also try to use one of these ones and as you can see banded the screw banded it so it was like a pain to get it out but now with this one when I use the anti-lock uh, grease see All right, I guess that that's it